I've lost broker. It is purely an intermediary between the counterparties. It keeps in touch with these customers via the phone to give them market color. Well, our job is to create liquidity in the market. The more liquid the product is, the more people deal in it, the faster you have to be. Well, my clients are primarily investment banks. So you could be Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Citigroup. You have to react and think fast. You have to be able to process a large amount of information quickly. A lot of it has to do with building relationships. Communicate concisely. You need a lot of energy. You have to go out and be the protagonist in it. Uh, you have to be resilient. If that's slower, we won't be able to close the deal. If you sit back, you will fall behind the curve. Whatever you do, you cannot accomplish without your team. We work very well. There's a lot of banter. There's a sense of camaraderie. Coming in on Charity Day, there's a team of brokers dressed as Thunderbirds, Super Mario. My desk is such a good mix of people. I have a New Zealander on my desk, an Australian on my desk, a Brit on my desk. Dusseldorf on Tuesday night, Zurich on Thursday night, and Brussels on the Friday night. My clients are based out of Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Singapore. The first trade, about $100 million in ocean. The idea is, you just can't stop. You just move on to the next one. Okay, this done, what's next? What's next? My largest trade, probably 1.2 billion euros. It felt like scoring at the World Cup. We made big coin. We just cleared the whole market. It was so good that the CEO came down and congratulated us. The money is good. I don't know how many other companies would give a 24-year-old a shot and start his own desk in New York, give him the freedom to run with it. When I felt that I arrived at ICAP was when my client started personally referring to me on the court box. I'm four years into my career. I'm a desk aide, and I'm closing a billion dollars a day. <laughs>